Before I send my message, I'll click here to edit out some parts. And that saves it as a draft and opens up our editing interface. First, let's trim off the first three seconds of the recording. Then I want to trim off a little bit of the ending too. And there was one more spot in the middle of the recording that I don't want in there as well. I think it was right around the 20 second mark. Now I have the option to automatically publish this message after these edits have been processed. So I turn that option on and I'm going to process these edits. Great. Now I can navigate away and move on knowing that these edits are in process. It'll just take a minute. I'll be notified via email and this message will be automatically published once they're complete. If I change my mind and I want to keep it as a draft after the edits finish, I have that option as well. And just a few moments later, I received this email notification letting me know that the video has been edited and it's been published since that was the option I chose. Let's take a look. And I can see now that those sections have been removed and the rest of the message has been stitched back together. Perfect. So that's editing of your recordings in ZipMessage.